Kelsey Brennan Wessels from the ESA Web TV Studios. The third satellite in the Meteorological Operational Satellite Program, called MEDOPC, is set for launch from Kourou in French Guiana next week. The satellite ensures the continued provision of data from polar orbit for weather forecasting and climate research. The series of three satellites was developed as a joint undertaking between ESA and the European Organization for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites, known as UMITSAT. To learn more about the satellite, my colleague Dominique got a chance to speak with ESA's MEDOPC project manager, Stéphane Callier, in the clean room in Kourou. Let's take a look. So the, the, the mission essentially is to provide uh, data for the numerical forecast models. Uh, essentially uh, temperature and humidity at different altitudes in the troposphere and there is also some uh, indication of uh, the wind direction and uh, wind speed. So this is quite a complicated or complex satellite because it has uh, several instruments, 10 instruments. Uh. Yes, uh, it is 10 instruments and uh, what is even uh, more complicated that uh, these instruments are uh, provided by uh, different sources. We have in, uh, a number of instruments provided by uh, NASA NOAA we have instruments provided by CNES, we have instruments provided by UMESAT, and we have uh, instruments which are procured by uh, ESA, all but together on the same platform. But all this data is very useful. I mean, the contribution of uh, METOP is quite important. Yes, it's uh, uh, almost essential because uh, we have uh, currently two METOP on, uh, on in flight, METOP A and METOP B, and this uh, METOP contribute to 30% of the precision of the weather predictions considering all kinds of uh, uh, other sources of information. So this is quite, uh, it, it was a revolution, the arrival of METOP. I mean, we are the third now, but it does really make a difference. It makes a difference, and uh, essentially for Europe, because this was the first uh, meteorological satellite in low orbit to provide this kind of data. Well, this is the end, in fact, of uh, METOP, METOP C, the third one, but it, it's not the end, it will continue after right. that. It's the end of a, a long and a very nice uh, project which I had the chance to contribute for some time and uh, so the main purpose here is to ensure the continuity until the launch of the next uh, generation of METOP SG, METOP which is called METOP SG, which SG, is a SG for second, uh, second generation which will be uh, expected to be launched in uh, 2021-22. But the lifetime of the first meetup was uh, beyond expectation. Yes, uh, the lifetime was five years, and uh, Metop A uh, it was launched in 2006 and still performing uh, very well after 12 years. And this has uh, allowed to improve uh, much more the weather prediction because now it is possible to operate two spacecraft in parallel, which was not the plan in the at origin. So that's uh, uh, something which is done, of course, with UMETSAT, which uh, we must remember that there is this collaboration, long collaboration. Yeah, the, 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 the UMETSAT has a full responsibility about the operation of the spacecraft and the provision of data to, to the meteorological users. But it's a good and successful... Uh... Yeah, it was a successful uh, cooperation with UMETSAT, and I think it's not the only one. Uh, before that, there was uh, MSG as well. And uh, now it's, uh, this success is continued with the new next generation of uh, meteorological satellites uh, like uh, Me Meteosat uh, third generation and METOP second generation. Stéphane Carlier, thank you. And uh, well, this bird behind us will be soon launched on the, on the Soyuz uh, from, from Kourou. Thank you.